This is the Mobi Family Slave Relics Museum. Right. Over there are the real chain chakos used on our forefathers during the period of slave trade. Okay. You know, Badagri was known to be a slave corridor. And there were two major slave codes in Nigeria during the olden days for transatlantic slave trade. Because in Nigeria, we practice both transatlantic and trans-Sahara. Yeah. Trans-Sahara was practiced in the northern Nigeria. Why here in Badagri yeah. and in Calabar, we practice transatlantic slave trade. Yeah. So our forefathers in Badagri were middlemen between the white and the black. The buy slaves and the fellow black, they resell. To our, the our, white fathers, our forefathers in Badagri. Some of our fathers or our fathers. Our forefathers in Badagri. Okay, okay. Badagri has eight quarters then. Six out of these eight quarters yeah. were doing this business with one country or the other. We have the British, the Dutch, the French, the Portuguese patronizing Badagri. Okay. So what happened then is once slaves are captured in the interland, yeah. the whole of the Oyo Empire, any slaves captured were marched down to Badagri. Okay. There was nothing I very cool in those days. They have to trek down. Wow. And you can imagine bringing slaves from the whole of Oyo Empire wow. down to Badagri. That's that, that, the current Oyo the states. The uh, whole of Oyo, the states in Nigeria South where they are speaking Yoruba Western now. States. Southwest part or uh, southwest part of Nigeria. Yeah. Any slaves culture were brought down to Badagri. From all those states. Eh? God. The black people now sell slaves to our forefathers yeah. inside the market established in the year 1502. They call that market Vlekete Slave Market. In Still here in Badagri. Over 300 slaves were sold inside the market every day. Every, every day? Every market day, sorry. And the market slaves. days are every five days. So over 17,000 slaves are led out of this market every year. From the market to the barracoon. They keep them inside the barracoon for another three to four months. They make them eat, drink, urinate, defecate, even while the women are observing the Mesa circle. They do it on each other inside the room for another three to four months. And from there, they cross them to the other side of the water. They call that place the point That's of no point. return. At the point of no return, they force them drink from a particular water. They call it spirit attenuation world. As soon as they're forced to drink from it, they force them to make some recitation. And so they become less aggressive. They lose their memory. And from there, they, they take them to the ship and take them out of Africa. Most of the time, they overload the ship. A ship of 1,000 capacity. They can decide to put 1,500 slaves inside. And by the time they get to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and the tides are high, for the ship not to capsize, they pick up some of the slaves and, and throw inside them inside, inside the ocean. Atlantic Ocean. That so, is it is not all the slaves that left the shore of Africa that get to where they are taking them to. Or whenever they feel that one or two of them are sick, for them not to infect others with such sickness, they pick them up and drop them inside the Atlantic Ocean. So, the slaves taken from here, some of them were meant to work in the house, while some work on the farm. Those working in the house are called domestic slaves. Most of the time, the male domestic slaves are most time castrated. They castrate Why? them for them not to impregnate the wife or, the, uh, or children of the master. Oh. They use the female domestic slaves as wet nurse. The white men will not want the breast of their wife to lose shape. So most times, they don't allow their wife breastfeed. Once they decide that their wife is pregnant, they impregnate the black woman working with them in the house. And the black woman will be the one to breastfeed the child of the master. So most times they kill the baby of the black woman, or collect the baby from the woman and give it to another woman, breastfeeding inside the farm. The plantation slaves work in the farm, and most times they were not allowed to talk or eat while working on the farm. For slavery refused to work inside the farm. They punish them publicly. And that will serve as a deterrent to other slaves. slaves. Now, most of the slaves taken out of Africa were taken to Europe. And at a time, by the time they have higher number of slaves in Europe, they begin to terrorize the Europeans. And so these people went to court with the slaves. And the judgment for the abolition of slave trade in Europe was made in Europe in the year 1772. But this good news got to Badagri in the year 1852. It was in the year 1852, our ancestors in Badagri signed a treaty with the British. Remember I told you we have the British, mm -hmm. the Dutch, the French, and the Portuguese. Yeah. So when they signed the treaty with the British, the treaty only affects the, Portuguese, uh, the British, not other country. Over 100 years. So after signing the, uh, after the judgment in 1772, the British signed the Treaty of the Abolition of Slavery with our forefathers in Badagri in the year 1852. 
that does not end the trade. The Portuguese were still coming to buy slaves in Badagri. Wow. And so the man buried here, wage war against the Portuguese in the year 1888. The father of the man buried here was the middleman between the white and the black. Wow. The father usually buys slaves from his fellow black and, and sells sell to, to the white men. Of course, that was what they were doing in Badagri in those days. But the father signed the treaty in the year 1852 and he pulled out of the trade. I said, enough. Yes. So when he died, yeah. the son now decided that the Portuguese were still doing this business. The man buried here now waged war against the Portuguese. This is the last person living by the And these are the real chain around their neck. The chain here has been in use for about 350 to 400 years before this is the chain in the year 1888. So these chains are over 500 years you, you, old. This particular chain here? Yes, sir. Whoa. This is called the neck lock. Oh, this is heavy. Please carry from the neck. Can, 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 can I put it on? Yes. Gold. Wait. Like, that is how, like, like how you want to walk on the road? The walk with this inside the farm for 18 oh, hours every day. Yeah. This is heavy. Apart from the, uh, the Wait, weight of like, the chain. Like, how did they walk? Apart from the weight, did you feel any pain on your body? I'm very uncomfortable. Now, our forefathers, while traveling, we have to travel with these around their neck for another three to four months before they get to their final destination. Four months? Like, I don't understand, like, 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 like this now. They walk with these inside the farm for 18 hours every day. Eh? A chain can connect two, three, four, five people. This is heavy, like, I'm very comfortable. My, 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 my neck, look now, see, 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 see now. See. Bro, see my neck, see my neck now, see. Yeah, see. Yeah. And you, you also feel pain on your chest. Yes, now, yes, now, see now. It's, it's, it's on my chest already. Yeah. So, they call this the neck lock for the neck of the slaves. This is called the mouth clip. And this is for the mouth of the slaves. Slaves working inside the farm were usually not allowed to communicate to one another. Why? The white men are afraid that white slaves are working and they are communicating. They can plan on how to attack their masters. So they usually pierce their lips with all time. Yeah, so it's like it's come, bro. They perforate the lips of the slaves. So it's like the lower, Yes, the lower and the upper lips. In the morning, while going to the farm, this goes to the mouth. They padlock. They now padlock it. Why? For them not to talk or eat while working on the farm. The white men are afraid that white slaves are working and they are communicating. They could plan on how to attack their masters. Or for them not to eat while working inside the farm. Remember I told you that the plantation slaves, the, uh, the, 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 the domestic slaves, the female domestic slaves, their baby were most time killed. Or they collect the baby and give it to another woman working inside the farm. Now for the children of the slaves working in the farm not to be playing about the farm, so as not to step on what their parents have planted. They gather the children together. They chain their wrists with this size of, with this size of the chain. Three, four of them together. Uh, uh, wait, Make them sit down under wait, a tree. Wait, wait. Far uh, from that, their that, that, that's not one person. No, no, no. Okay. No. Like two, three hands, they okay. join together and they chain. You know they are babies. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. join them together, make them sit under a tree, far away from where their parents are working. This is a torture weapon. And this is for stubborn slavery who refuse to work inside the farm. Stubborn slavery who refuse to work, they force this into their hand down to the wrist. What, like, what, 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 what does that do, do, do to the slave? Sorry. They force this to the wrist. This will not go in easily. So most times they break the bone to force this to the wrist. After forcing this to the wrist of the stick, they will now make them climb the platform, unscrew this side, and screw it to another tall tree up. Then the, slaves, the master comes down from the, from the tree and remove the tree from the leg of the slaves. So the slaves will be hanged on the tree from morning to night. In the course of doing that, most of them die. The white man doesn't care because our forefathers were used in messenger of high terms. This is called the branding iron, And this was used in writing the name of slaves. Slaves don't bear them during the period of slave trade. They bear the name of their masters. Yeah. For the master of the slave to be able to identify their slaves, they put this in fire. When this is red hot, they will now use this to write the name of the owner of the slaves they, they on, their the body. on their body. Either on the chest or at the back. Look now, this is... And this is what we now adopt iron. as fashion today, tattoo. The second function of this is to pierce the lips of the slaves. 
for them to be able to padlock their mouth. The last function is to punish the food. Or it's to punish someone slave who tried to run away being captured. So any slave who tried to run away being captured, they put this in fire, then put the leg on a falling tree and hit this into the ah. foot to pierce the leg or break the bone inside the leg. If you have watched a film called The Roots, you understand what I'm talking about better. And this is called the ankle lock. This is for the leg of two slaves. Please yeah. move back. Two slaves are meant to walk with these. Capture. Around their leg at the same time. Wait, why is he putting on the, the, this chain? Yes. Like, okay, how can you be able to, to even So they have to drag their foot ah, ah. on the floor. It will be very difficult for them to run with this around their ankle. Wait, are we this on, time. on their ankle? Yeah. And this on their neck? On their neck. And they, and, and they, and they will still walk miles away. They don't care. They use this to reduce their yes. movement so as for them not to run away. This was the money we recognized back then in Africa. Yeah, the cowries. Cowries. But cowries was only recognized by we Africans as money. Okay. The white man doesn't see this as money. That led to the introduction of trade by uh -huh. butter. So they bring in items like gun, gunpowder, dry gin, cotton, iron, mirror, tobacco, to exchange for human being. A bottle of dry gin back then was exchanged for 10 slaves. Can I touch? Yes, you can. Oh. A bottle was exchanged for 10 slaves. It mirror. Is, it is original bottle from our... No, 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 no. The one we have has broken, so we have to use this okay. as an example. Okay. A bottle for 10, mirror for 10, okay. and umbrella for 40. This is a cannon gun. Hmm. And can this I, size can of I the cannon... Yes, you can. This size of the cannon gun was exchanged for 40 human beings. The big size of this for 100. Now, when you have this, you will need gunpowder to use this. Yeah. The gunpowder will also be in exchange of more being. slaves. And why do we need this? They brought this to us so that we could fight, fight ourselves, our capture, um, capture slaves, yeah. and sell back to them. I call that divide and conquer. And they are still doing that in Africa up till date. You believe they are still doing that in Africa up to date? Here's a slave drinking water bowl. And 40 to 50 slaves drink water from this pot at a time. Eh? 40 what? 40 to 50 human beings drink from the pot how? Like, how, at a time. How is that possible? They don't drink with cup. They drink with their hands tied to the back. So they wait for you one like this. All, all, all this is us now. It's already occupied. Let, let, let's assume you are here, another person is here. Two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All this, that is enough. And that is the reason why they will have to struggle ah. to drink water. Now, in the course of struggling to drink water, they push one another. They get caught by the edge of the pot. Ah. You agree with me that the edge ah. is rough ah. and, this is rough and, and sharp. sharp. They get caught, the blood drips into the water. They have no choice. They drink the water like that because they have access to food and water once in a day. Now, in the course of my introduction, Sorry, and this is the, original the real, pot. the real pot, yeah. In the course of my introduction, I was telling you about a well at the point of no return. return. Yeah. This is the picture of the well, and this is the recitation. They make them recite that makes them lose their memory. memory. They call this well spirit attention well. The first they make drink from the water and make them make this recitation. And so they become less aggressive, they lose their memory. That was the reason why Nigeria could supply 24% of slaves taken out of Africa. 24%. And that is the highest. And Angola, the both of them contributed 24-24%, followed by Ghana, 16%, mm. and Senegambia, 13%. About 38.5% of slaves taken out of Africa were taken from Bra were, were, are, are taken to Brazil. And that's the reason why today, after Nigeria, Brazil is the next country with the largest number of black. So far, so good. What have you learned and what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section. Please ensure you subscribe because we will talk other museums here in Badagri.